Ukrainian Marines and paratroopers, supported by M-1 tanks, created a road of death for Russian troops, in particular, for the Russian 155th Marine Brigade, in the vicinity of Zeleny Shlyak in the Kursk region. As Forbes analyst David Axe writes, this is the result of a retaliatory operation by the Ukrainian armed forces for the shooting of nine Ukrainian drone operators. A quartet of Ukrainian formations, the 36th Marine Brigade, the 47th Mechanized Brigade, and the 82nd and 95th Airborne Assault Brigades, have turned a short stretch of highway in Russia's Kursk region into a road of death, the article says. On October 18, Paratroopers from the 95th Air Assault Brigade routed a group of Russians in armored personnel carriers, destroying three armored personnel carriers and killing 30 Russians. Last week, the 47th Mechanized Brigade attacked Russian Marines in Novoivanovka, near Zeleny Shlyak, using M-1 tanks and M-2 combat vehicles. Meanwhile, Ukrainian forces entered Zeleny Shlyak from the south with a column of T-64 tanks and M-113 armored personnel carriers, blowing up Russian vehicles on the move, and also attacked from the west, killing seven sappers from the 155th Marine Brigade, AKS notes. The result over the past two weeks has been a graveyard of destroyed Russian equipment worth tens of millions of dollars on the main road through Zeleny Shlyak. Analysts have found at least 17 destroyed Russian armored trucks, armored personnel carriers and tanks in the Zeleny Shlyak area, the article notes. At the same time, the Ukrainians do not appear to have lost a single unit of armored vehicles in their recent counterattacks, writes AKS. At the same time, he notes that reinforcements will soon come to the Russian troops in Kursk, in particular, the first of many batches of North Korean soldiers will arrive any day now. The New York Times wrote that in recent days, Russian troops have stepped up efforts to push Ukrainian troops out of the Kursk region, and this is leading to a reduction in the territory controlled by Ukraine. At the same time, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine Alexander Swarsky denied Putin's statement that Ukrainian troops in the Kursk region are surrounded. According to him, Ukrainian fighters continue active operations in the Kursk direction, and, despite the enormous pressure of the enemy in this direction, the occupiers are suffering significant losses in personnel and military equipment. As General Valery Romanenko noted, in order to push Ukrainian defense forces to the borders in Kursk, Russia, according to various estimates, needs from 80 to 120,000 troops. Therefore, soldiers from the North Korea are being transferred to Kursk, among other things. Tropical storm Trami blew away from the northwestern Philippines on Friday, leaving at least 82 people dead in landslides and extensive flooding that forced authorities to scramble for more rescue boats to save thousands of terrified people, who were trapped, some on their roofs. But the onslaught may not be over, state forecasters raised the rare possibility that the storm the 11th and one of the deadliest to hit the Philippines this year could make a U-turn next week as it is pushed back by high-pressure winds in the South China Sea. A Philippine provincial police chief said Friday that 49 people were killed mostly in landslides set off by Trami in Batangas province south of Manila. That brought the overall death toll from the storm to at least 82. Eleven other villagers remain missing in Batangas, Colonel Jacinto Malaneo Jr. told the Associated Press by telephone from the lakeside town of Talisi, where he stood beside a villager whose wife and child were buried in the deep mound of mud, boulders and trees.
European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen visited the central Bosnian village of Donja Jeblanica on Thursday, after it was devastated by recent floods and landslides. The disaster in early October claimed 27 lives, and the small village was virtually buried in rocks that descended on the village from a quarry located on a hill above. I am here 20 days after the disaster and it is still heartbreaking to see the devastation, the destruction here in the region," said von der Leyen. Bosnia has sought EU aid and many countries have sent teams to help through the EU's civil protection mechanism. Europe stands with you and we are here not only for the short run but also for the mid and long term, to help you first of all, of course to help immediately, but second to reconstruct and rebuild after the disaster," she added. Unfortunately, the other side, when uh, the box came from the ferry, Hello. Uh, uh, 7 in the morning, going for work, for the only one step. Yeah. 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 Ye